Ladies and gentlemen, what you see before you is the new Ferrari 599XX. It's uh, one of the new cars that they've released on the downloadable content that came out yesterday, I believe. Uh, there was roughly about, I would say, maybe uh, six to seven cars that came out on that pack. But I'm going to try this one out. I haven't drove it yet. But, you know, I want to see how it feels to drive it. And uh, But I just think it looks real sweet. Uh, so we'll kind of pause and just let these little screens run through so we can get a good look of the car. And there's some other nice cars too. Uh, hopefully I'll put a video up on each car and how it uh, handles and how it looks in some upcoming videos. <clears throat> so you guys can see those and make your decision if you wanted to purchase this content or not. All right, so I think that's enough for right now. So let's go ahead. Ooh. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. My difficulty, auto brake is off, of course. Anti-lock brakes is the only thing that I keep on. Stability control and traction control are both off. Automatic shifting and the suggested line, I keep it on braking only. And the reason why I do that is, is until I can learn the tracks themselves, uh, I'll just leave it like that. Let's see, I don't even know what, well, let's do this right here. Let's, have some pretty good straights or open open lanes. And of course, if anybody who's played fours or three, you know there's always a long loading time uh, between when you pick your car and actually get on the track. I don't know why this is, it's, but apparently there's just a lot of data that needs to be load it up before we can actually race so all right here we go let's see the starting grid who we running up against uh, as far as the PI or the performance uh, index uh, I'm second with a 754 there's a, a Viper GTSR with a 764 and you know these sometimes these are just real subtle differences that change this It's really nothing major in my opinion it still comes down to how well you can drive the car but uh, as you can see here are all the cars that I'm racing up against and let's go for it destroyed the car but I won the race <laughs> I just look at a quick replay of that 
I kind of lost my control a little bit since uh, I have the handling, the uh, stability control and traction control off. But overall, the car actually has a lot of a lot of power. It picks up acceleration really well. Damn, I lost my bumper in the first turn corner. So I have my uh, my damage on simulation as well. It's not just cosmetic. So any damage I suffer will uh, affect the ride of my car. Like I said, it controls good. It's just that, you know, I was just a little out of control in racing. That's where I made my move. I made a pretty good comeback on that last lap. And here's where the power comes in on this car. Look how he blew past that Viper. Boom, there you go.